What if I told you the hottest planet in the solar system hides a secret so cold, it could rewrite the story of life itself. This is Mercury, a world of fire and frost, where days last longer than years and mountains rise from lava older than time. The smallest planet in our solar system and nearest to the sun. Mercury shouldn't be here. Its orbit? A cosmic tug of war. The sun's fury versus Jupiter's whisper. Imagine a dancer spinning too close to a bonfire. That's Mercury's wild tango. A dance so chaotic. Its orbit is the most elliptical in the solar system stretched like a rubber band. And here's the twist for every to lapse around the sun. It spins three times. One day here lasts 176 days on Earth. Yet here it is. Scarred. Twisted. Alive. How? Because Mercury doesn't play by the rules. It cheats. Mercury breathes. Not with lungs, but with sunlight. Its exosphere, a wispy skin of atoms, is alive. Solar winds blast sodium into a glowing tail, stolen by the sun, reborn by meteor strikes. A tail so faint, you could see it from Earth with the right tools. A fragile dance and a clue to how planets die. In 2011, NASA's messenger did the impossible. It found ice, not in some distant comet. Here, in craters forever cloaked in shadow, minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit, cold enough to freeze time itself. But how? Water shouldn't exist this close to the sun, unless... Asteroids. Comets. Cosmic delivery trucks. They crashed, died, and left gifts in the dark. Ice older than dinosaurs, older than oceans. And we found it, because Mercury isn't just a planet, it's a time capsule. NASA's messenger spacecraft uncovered peculiar hollows scattered across Mercury's surface. Orbital images revealed thousands of irregular depressions, marked by an even terrain, spanning up to a mile 1,600 meters in width and plunging as deep as 120 feet 37 meters. These aren't craters. They're hollows bright, shallow pits where Mercury's surface vaporized. Volatiles like sulfur, baked by the sun, escaped into space. A phenomenon found nowhere else in the solar system. But what's down there? Minerals? Ancient ices? or something stranger. But Mercury guards its secrets fiercely. To reach it, you must outwit the sun, radiation fry circuits. Gravity pulls you into the inferno.
yet be Piccolombo this sleek, European Japanese Marvel dares. Armed with I don't thrusters and a heat shield stronger than myth, it's mapping Mercury's magnetic whispers. A magnetic field. Tiny, just 1% of Earth's strength, but there. A heartbeat. Proof that even a dead world has a pulse. But why? How does a planet with a core 85% of its size bigger than Earth still churn molten metal? Is its core still molten? Or is this the ghost of a younger, fiercer Mercury? Mercury is shrinking. As its core cools, the planet contracts, crushing itself. These scars lobate scarps are tectonic wrinkles taller than Everest, 300 miles long. A planet eating its own skin. But why? Is this a slow death? Or a transformation? The sun doesn't just burn mercury, it whips it. Magnetic tornadoes born from solar winds tangling with Mercury's field rage across its surface. These storms can swallow Earth whole, yet Bipicolombo flies straight into the chaos, because hidden here is the key to stellar survival. Look closer. Those craters? They're our scars, too. The Caloris Basin 960 miles wide, forged by an asteroid the size of West Virginia, triggered lava floods that reshaped Mercury. The same asteroids that struck Mercury, they shaped Earth, brought water sparked life. Mercury's story is our origin story. Because Mercury isn't just a planet, it's a mirror reflecting our past, our grit, our unyielding need to know. Einstein needed mercury to kill Newton. The planet's wobbly orbit, a quirk Newton's physics couldn't explain, became proof for relativity. A crack where light could bend. Mercury didn't just test Einstein. It made him. We stand at the edge. Be Piccolombo's data will rewrite textbooks. But Mercury? It'll keep its mysteries a little longer. Is its core alive? Did comets seed its eyes? Will Jupiter's gravity hurl it into the sun? Because that's what legends do. They make you lean in. They make you burn to know. Curious for more? Explore the wonders of science on our YouTube channel. Visit our homepage, pick your favorite topic, and dive into fascinating discoveries. With a new science story every week, there's always something incredible waiting for you. 
Subscribe now and never miss an adventure.